You have returned. And you have brought the shard. That's all you can say? I almost died out there. If I did not believe you could handle the task, I would have sent another. Yeah, well, you weren't out there in the swamp getting attacked by lizard folk. No, I was here attending the wounded, Bevel. Now find Marion and do the same. I don't see how you put up with him. Now, for the shard. Let me see it. Our talk is for our ears alone. Bevel has served his purpose and does not need to be troubled any further. Bevel has his uses, but it is not wise to depend on someone of Starlane blood for too long. Also, his complaining tires me and will not serve you where you are bound. Many such ruins lie within the mare and beneath it. They are of ancient Ilfarn, an empire once forged from an alliance of dwarfs and elves. All that remains are ruins and little else. And their empire lives on only in history books and stories. That shard is one of a pair. Both were found after the battle that destroyed West Harbor long ago. My half-brother Duncan and I asked a mage in Neverwinter to examine the shards for enchantments but he found nothing except a faint magical aura, residue of the battle. And so I kept one shard, and the other I gave to Duncan. Not long after I returned to West Harbor, I sealed it away in the ruins. So to speak, it would be more appropriate to say that I have a half-brother. Duncan, like Bevel, has many faults that would make it wise not to rely on him or call him kin. Strange. Perhaps the attack awakened it. If so, then perhaps a second look at these shards would yield different results. But such divinations would be beyond anyone here in West Harbor, including Tarmus. That is the only reason I can think of for why they came. Am I certain? No. But my instincts tell me they were looking for it. It was long ago, and it was a battle that did not concern West Harbor, but the village was caught up in it like many such villages in the Mare of Dead Men. We knew little about what had sparked the conflict. Demons were involved, led by a warlock of great power. We only knew him as the King of Shadows. The forces of Neverwinter attempted to drive the demons back. Many villagers fled, some taking the road, others wading into the swamp, anything to escape the battle, there was an explosion, pure and white, then nothing more. I could not bring myself to cast it away, yet at the same time, I did not wish to keep it close. You are too young to remember what occurred, I know, but the battle was a terrible one, and that shard, it reminds me too much of that night. I need you to go to the city of Neverwinter, find my half-brother Duncan, retrieve the second shard, and take it to a mage you both can trust. Duncan owns an inn in the docks district of the city, the Sunken Flagon. Not the most reputable place, but safe enough. No, I know you value him as a friend, but it will be of no help outside of West Harbor. He would only slow you down. Bevel is made for simpler things. Very well, let us waste no more time in discussing your friend. If you have other questions, ask them. That is possible but this village cannot shelter you or survive another attack. On the road, moving, you have a chance. Once you reach Neverwinter, it may prove more difficult for them to attack you. The problem is more complicated than that. 
If we give them the shard, I doubt it will prevent them from believing the second one lies here as well, or others. We only found two. It is possible there were others, scattered into the swamp or taken away, or have met other ends. Head to the small port town of Highcliff when you are free of the swamp. There, seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. The beast that attacked us will leave West Harbor alone once they realize their quarry has fled. If all goes well, you should be a Neverwinter before they find your trail. Say your farewells. Your boots may travel many roads before you return. I let some of the others know you are leaving, but not the why of it. I was raised amongst the wild elves, and for all my years amongst the race of man, they make little sense to me. Even though you are not one of them, you understand them better than I. I have done all I can to hide your presence. If these beasts come again, West Harbor will need me. I have created a screen of activity. On a normal night, your trip with Bevel would have been easily spotted, but not tonight. It still may not be enough, but there is little else I can do. Return when you are ready to leave, and we will speak of the path you must take. So, your father sent you off to Neverwinter. As if everything that's happened tonight isn't enough adventuring for one lifetime. I'm hoping that you'll be back soon enough after you reach the city, but most people who leave West Harbor don't come back. It'll be a shame to see you go. We lost a lot of harbormen to the attack. Hopefully your father's right, and there will be no more attacks once the shard is gone. Still, the village will need every sword arm it has. As a member of the militia, my sworn duty is to defend West Harbor. I can't just turn my back on that. Not really. There's an inn north of here along the road. It's the only one between here and the edge of the mare, from what I understand. Plenty of lizard folk in the swamp, of course. Just stick to the roads and you'll be fine, though. At least, that's what I've heard. Good luck. And if you run across the one who killed Amy, stick a blade through his heart for me. She deserves at least that.
This is too much to carry.